Go. Hi, I'm Ronald Fines, and uh, I want to tell you uh, various things because Ross and Hugo will be facing quite a trip on their 340 mile journey across the Greenland ice cap. There may well be crevasses, sometimes quite difficult to see. Um, if the conditions are bad and it's a mist and a whiteout, then see where crevasses are um, because in winter time the snow will blow over like a trap door. You don't see it and you tread on it, you can fall in. That's why in the areas where you think there are crevasses, both of you, Ross and Hugo, must be roped to each other. In terms of polar bears on the edge, not when you get up into the middle, uh, there can be polar bears, in which case, in a lot of cases, you are made to take a protective gun with you by the local authorities, as is the case in Spitsbergen or Svalbard. Um, other problems, of course, the cold, if you run out of foods, you need to take more food than you think you would. Those are probably the main problems that you can run into. Frostbite, frost nip, you know all about. Um, why I've been attracted to polar travel, cold travel, is slightly a competitional thing that's come in. I used to spend a lot of time looking in hot deserts for uh, ruined cities. In fact, 26 years I looked for lost cities in the hottest deserts in the world. But the coldest deserts, the North Pole, the South Pole, Antarctica and the Arctic, have proved attractive because I've been there again and again. But mostly it's a competitional urge to put our flag, the Union Jack, on the world records before people like the Norwegians or the Canadians who come from cold countries with lots of snow and ice, even more than we get in the UK. So, yes, competition has been one of the reasons scientifically. We've taken scientists with us. We've produced 600-page scientific reports, or the scientists who go with us have. Uh, Charity-wise, on the back of the expeditions, we've raised just under £16 million for UK charities. It's a, a good, easy way of raising money for your chosen charity. So science and charity and competition, those are the main reasons why I've gone for the polar regions, where there were still records to be broken. Anyway, I'd like to wish both of you very good luck indeed on your very brave, bold challenge. And also, I do hope that folk will give very generously indeed to your chosen charity of Spinal Research's £2 million backbone of Britain appeal. Thank you very much.